1962 work fetched the highest price ever for one of his iconic and ironic salutes to consumer culture. Another of his paintings, titled 64 SNH Green Stamps, went for $5.2 million at Christie's Spring Auction of Postwar Art, which wraps up tonight. Also commanding top dollar, an untitled 1961 painting by Willem de Kooning at more than $5 million, and a sculpture of a dissected sheep in formaldehyde by Damien Hirst, which sold for more than $3 million. They've done it again for the 16th time since June of 2004. The Federal Reserve has raised interest rates. Jennifer Westoven is in New York with more on the Fed's actions and what's next. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, thanks, Linda. Yeah, interest rates slightly higher now. After half an hour ago, the Federal Reserve raising its basic rate to about 5%. Now, for you, it means you're probably going to see credit card rates. They tend to tick up, and it puts pressure on the rate it is to borrow money. That can be for mortgages. They can go up also for car loans. Now, the Federal Reserve did include a signal in its commentary that it might take a break this summer. It has been raising rates gradually and steadily for about two years now, but they said they wanted to take a look at how the interest rates so far are impacting the economy, and the Fed also including words that the economy is doing quite well and still growing. Now, stocks doing a little bit better since we heard from the Federal Reserve. The Dow at least is now in the green, not by much, but up 16 points, 11,655. And of course, it is within striking distance, uh, less than 100 points of its all-time record, which is a little more than 11,700. Okay, now something to bring a smile to investors and families, tax breaks. The House is expected to pass a five-year, $70 billion measure later today. It would let 15 million families escape that alternative minimum tax. Capital gains and dividend tax cuts would get another two years of life. The Senate could pass the measure by the end of the week, and that would clear the way for the president to sign it. By the way, uh, one think tank did the math here. A middle-income family would get about $20 worth of tax breaks. A family making more than a million dollars would get $42,000 worth. Back to you. 20 bucks. Jennifer, mm. thanks. Issue over illegal immigrants is not just a problem in the U.S. Find out about the situation in France and how immigration reform has become a contentious issue in French politics. For generations, gardeners in the know have trusted bonnie plants to produce the highest yield, most disease-tolerant vegetable and herb plants on the market. Now, with innovations like our own biodegradable peat cup, starting your garden is easier than ever. Fresh, homegrown bonnie veggies and herbs are also an important part of a healthy, well-balanced diet. Bonnie veggies and herbs, fresh starts here. For gardening tips, visit us online at bonnieplants.com. It's like somebody once said, you can read all about a strawberry and what it, what it looks like, and, but then you can just bite into it and then you go, oh, strawberry. Well, you can read all about having a baby, then you have one at your home, and just the two of you left to, to keep this thing alive. I mean, we felt so much love. It's a thing that you can't even begin to compare anything to. It's always the quiet ones. They sit in the back. They never raise their hand. Then the test comes and they've got all the answers. Introducing the all-new Quiet-Tuned Buick Lucerne CX. Quieter on the road than a Lexus ES330, Acura TL, or Infiniti G35. The Buick Lucerne, now starting under 25.5. See your Buick dealer today. Buick, beyond precision. I just wanted to thank Ditech for coming through for us uh, after exhausting a lot of possibilities locally. And wow, great rate, money in hand. Thanks again. Log on or call 1 800 71 fixed. Class of 95. Here I come. Mm, mm, mm. Weekends look even better at 50% off. Rent Friday to Monday, 50% off. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. From WBNG TV, your news leader. The area's most award-winning local newscast. This is Action News Headline Edition. 
Good afternoon, I'm Kim DeVestia. Thank you for joining us for this Action News headline update. A two-car crash in Tioga County sends three people to area hospitals for treatment. The crash happened in Newark Valley around 7 this morning when a car and an SUV collided here at the intersection of Routes 38 and 38B. The Tioga County Sheriff's Office says three people suffered minor injuries as a result of the crash. One person was transported to Cayuga Medical Center in Ithaca. The other two went to Lourdes Hospital for treatment. There's no word yet as to what caused the crash. People are voicing their concerns about a proposed high voltage power line project in our area. Nearly 50 people were at this open meeting in the town of Shenango Community Hall last night. It was held by members of the community to get more information out about the proposed power line plan. An Albany company wants to run the 200 mile power line from Utica to Long Island. It could run through Binghamton. Organizers of this meeting say not enough people know the, plan, the details of the plan. The company NYRI is also holding meetings to explain the project. The next one is tonight at Deposit High School and another tomorrow at Norwich High School. Both begin at 7 p.m. With the warm weather here and summer on the way, the city of Binghamton is working to get people outside and taking advantage of area scenery. Binghamton Mayor Matt Ryan, along with dozens of outdoor enthusiasts, got together this morning at Confluence Park. The mayor outlined plans for summer river crawls. The crawls are gatherings designed to get people outside and take advantage of area trails and parks. The crawls will be held each month along different area rivers like the Shenango and Susquehanna. There will be things like barbecues, kayaking and bike demonstrations. 